going to talk about aluminum wire installed between 1965 and 1972. Looking at the pictures I'll be using will probably scare you to death, but that shouldn't be the case. Yes, you can research the subject and find that aluminum wire installed during this period is 55 times more likely to start a fire than copper wire installed at the same time. But there are several reasons for this, and all the pictures I have used were caused due to these reasons. You can see from the picture above that the wire has been hot probably several times. This was probably caused by two things. First you can see the brass metal under the screw in the wire. Aluminum wire was meant to be used with compatible outlets made for use with aluminum wire. This is the most common problem associated with aluminum wire. A new homeowner will move in and either change the outlets and switches or hire someone to. The problem is the average electrician has less than six years of experience and this is typically in new construction. 90% of all electricians spend no more than six years in the trade. Aluminum wire was installed for a short period over 50 years ago. When it was installed, the electricians were properly trained on how to install it. Those electricians are long gone. And of course, they do-it-yourself homeowners were never trained. So that's what it boils down to, is improper installation is the reason for 99% of all aluminum wire failures Using the wrong receptacles and switches are the majority of these failures. Electrical wire failures are all about the connections. This is true of aluminum and copper wire. Wire nuts are not compatible with aluminum wire. Although you can buy special wire nuts with a deoxidizer agent added, I don't recommend them. Aluminum wire is more brittle than copper wire. Wire nuts have a sharp coiled wire inside them that score the wire as they are screwed on. This scoring on aluminum wire can cause it to break off. It's always best to connect aluminum wire with mechanical connectors where the wire is compressed with a screw. I have used the Alumicon connector you can see above. You can buy them online for around $4 each in quantities of 100 but this remedy can be expensive considering you'll need at least three for every device. The best method is to connect each individual wire directly to an aluminum approved outlet or switch. I have spent my career replacing electric panels and resolving issues brought up in home inspection reports. I'm sure I have inspected and remediated well over a thousand homes with aluminum wire. I have yet to have to rewire a home due to aluminum wire. I have made many repairs from faulty installation and I have replaced many receptacles and switches to ease a customer's mind. I would recommend the installation of arc fault breakers on any house containing aluminum wire just for the peace of mind. I want to thank, I want to you, as thank you as always for watching, for watching my video and hope the video and hope helps subscribe below Please and subscribe help below to help spread the word. Leave me a message or a comment on this video or another electrical question you might have. Thank you.